Hello, my name is Christian Pedersen and I'm the Head of Product Management here at Dali Loudspeakers. Dali went into headphones with the IO4 and IO6 back in 2019 with the ambition of producing some of the best hi-fi headphones ever produced. We did not at that point have any previous experience with headphones, um, so it would of course have been naive to think that we would have made the world's best headphones at the first go. Because everything is, is a learning curve. We learned a lot. And many, many things of those learnings from the first IO project is what we have taken with us um, for the IO12 uh, headphone. And now we're at a point um, where that ambition of creating the best headphone in the world I would say that we are very, very close to meeting that goal. Things can of course always be improved, but with the IO12, I believe that we've made one of the best headphones available on the market. Our approach to headphones um, are that a headphone is a set of loudspeakers mounted on each side of your head. So we're going into the headphones market with a loudspeaker approach rather than a personal gadget approach or, approach or something. So we, we, as I said, we didn't have any previous headphones experience. So by, but by looking at a headphone as, as a loudspeaker, we were able to take our experience from the last 40 years of making some of the best loudspeakers and put them into, into headphones. And the headphone requirements are, are quite different than, than loudspeakers. Um, comfort is important, weight is important, features are important. Um, but we found with the first IO project that those more tangible aspects of the headphone um, took a lot of the priorities um, in the design of other headphones. And where our approach to loudspeakers are that the starting point is the best possible drive units. We were actually quite surprised to find that in most commercially available headphones that the, uh, the drivers themselves hadn't taken much attention. They were very cost-effective, almost commoditized items. Um, it didn't have a lot of, of focus on, on the drivers, which was a surprise to us because that's where the whole thing starts. And we actually found that within the headphones industry, um, the drivers were even, um, they were referred to as receivers, everything originating to the, back to the 50s telecom industry and the way stuff were tuned with, with leaks and, and, and cavities, it was not the way that we would do a loudspeaker. Um, so we started at looking at the, at the drivers because that's really the most important to get a good sound. Um, the driver that we are using in our headphones, starting back with the IO4 and 6, is a um, oversized 50 millimeter driver that is constructed exactly like a real hi-fi drive unit with a, um, in the case of the IO headphones, a paper fiber cone. We are using wood fiber in our loudspeakers. That would be too heavy for use in a headphone. In this case, it's paper fiber. It's not with rigid surround, uh, but a rubber surround. So it's free moving, um, like a hi-fi loudspeaker. Um, the voice coil, the magnet system, everything needed to be optimized and has been like a, a hi-fi loudspeaker. And we are using a bigger than normal transducer. We're using a 50 millimeter transducer in our headphones, as opposed to a 40 millimeter or 35 millimeter that are much more commonly used by going 50 millimeter we have a more linear lower distortion um, performance that we would wouldn't otherwise everything starts with the driver it's got to be a, as good as possible it was already good in io4 and 6 and now we're taking that step uh, a step further when you have a driver that needs to be put into a cabinet that's what we do with loudspeakers. They are produced in a, in a cabinet. The same thing in a headphone. 
we were also when we looked at um, headphones available in the market looking at we were stunned to find that normally there is no acoustic damping within those headphones acoustic enclosures we would never do a loudspeaker without acoustic damping within the the, the cabinet so within the headphones uh, and in the io12 we're using the exact same damping felt as we're using behind the dome on our high performance tweeters um, because an acoustic enclosure would need um, acoustic damping and you can hear that exactly um, what the acoustic damping has to do is to basically to make sure that the reflection that comes from the back of the diaphragm is absorbed and, and doesn't transmit to you as a listener. The next stop, a thing that is very important on headphones um, in terms of acoustics is of course that you get a very good seal around the, your, your ears and your head. Uh, but that means that you have a consistent sound from person to person. Um, in case of the IO12, the ear pads, in this case they're rectangular as opposed to the, opposed to the IO4 and 6 where they're circular. Um, we're doing that to make sure that the headphones are more comfortable for once, um, but also in order to create a better seal to your head. In the lower rear corner of these uh, ear pads, there's a bump, and the reason for that is to make sure you have a better seal behind, between uh, the head and behind your ears. Um, if you have a more consistent seal from person to person, we are able to get a more consistent sound performance, a more consistent ANC performance and bass performance. Um, so that's really, really important. But of course, these nice ear pads that are rectangular also sits extremely comfortable. There's tons of space for even large ears. Um, by having a larger surface area of the ear pads, um, they distribute the pressure on side of heads much more evenly. And as a result, they sit very, very nice and comfortable.